Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbital's Rocket Shop where we continue working on the world's only crewed, crowdfunded space rocket, Spica. While we wait for the two-day engine static fire test campaign happening tomorrow on Monday, which you should definitely set a reminder for, we want to show you some of the final production steps of our six coaxial swirl injectors that will be put to the test on the test stand tomorrow. And we really hope to see you there during the live stream for some beautiful ethylog shock diamonds, but now let's get on to the episode. So I just wanted to give you an update on how we are doing on the uh, swirl injector soldering process. Um, I actually have the six injectors lying here. And the current status is that uh, right now, these four here are just fine. Uh, this one came out of the uh, oven just a couple of hours ago. We just leak tested it. And whatever is leaking is not in the injector, it's somewhere else in the pipe work, but it's maintaining a very nice vacuum without creating bubbles. So all is good. This one was the one done before that, that also turned out well with no leaks. So I think we're getting the hang of it. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks. It's kind of a tedious process. These two over here are still bugging us. One here is down to two leaks, so I think we can solder that up with another trip to the oven. And this one here is simply gonna need a manual hack to get this one there sealed up. Um, it's a little bit about the tolerances on some of the pieces here and, and just a plain soldering with, uh, with solder paste, it's not gonna cut it. As a quick reminder, all of these developments, including tomorrow's engine tests, are made possible by our supporters through our website or our YouTube memberships. If you would like to help us continue building larger, more powerful engines, rockets and spacecraft, consider becoming a supporter. In return, we will happily fly your name to space and continue providing these insider videos on rocket development. Thank you. It takes hours and hours every time we put one of these into the oven. So um, last time we tried something new. We had these three injectors. One of them was brand new and was pasted up for the first time. We had another brass injector uh, assembly, which was quite leaky. So that one received uh, additional paste in stretchy places. And then we have this black sheet here, which was probably as leaky as it is now. But we actually tried to stack them in the oven to see if we could get the, the batch speed up a bit. And that actually turned out pretty well. I mean, this one came out just fine. Perfect, no leaks. The other one here, we got down to just two small leaks. And then, well, I think this one just enjoyed the ride. So. As for this, um, as for this um, possibility, we might be able to actually do more, if we're ever going to have to do more of these injectors uh, this way, then it seems we can just add simply uh, do a stack of them in the oven. So that was also a, a learning experience from these experiments here. So we're getting there. It's a long and tedious process, but I mean, it's rocketry, so I guess there's nothing new there. Take care, stay safe, and for all of you, all of you so that's still uh, supporting us and hanging in there. Thank you very much. This is some of the stuff that keeps us afloat during these uh, pandemic times. So big thanks from here. That is all for now. So as always, thank you for watching and supporting. If you don't want to miss any of our future updates, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so we can see you next time when we get one step closer to space. The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.